Okay guys, I just wanted to show you also with the T4E that you can go ahead and use the buggy trays, reuse the T4 uh, battery spacers. You see these right here, these come with the T4. They're a little bit taller. Um, Shell Racing offers an aluminum one, but with the T4 tray, the long ones here, you know, it comes with the buggy and truck mounting positions. So you can actually run this in the A-scale buggy. But you take the actual, I'm trying to find them. These are the buggy, the standoffs that come with the buggy tray, battery spacers. I don't know if you can tell, those are oh, quite a bit taller. They're like double the height. So you get more support on your battery. And uh, like I said, Shell has aluminum ones. You don't really need them. In my experience, they look cool, but I think they're just kind of for show. Since Associates came out with these taller ones, they obviously saw the market for it and, you know, released it with the T4. But it does work in the B4 tray, so if you have a B4 and you want... I don't know if you can get those separately. I don't believe you can. You'd have to buy the T4 trays to get those. But, so here you go. You can put the B4 trays in the Truggy. And then we're going to get a Bruggy body out and see if we can actually run the Bruggy body. Without having to cut the notches for the battery. Now, obviously, we're not going to be able to fit this on here perfectly. But, as you can see, I can mount the lower part of the body here without having to cut relief for the battery trays, which is super nice, right? I obviously have the front mounts on, so this body won't fit. But if I were to put the lower mount on, it would fit, and I could run this body no problem at all. This is an LFR XT8 body, just for uh, you know demonstrating. Though you don't have to cut the Lexan out to fit the buggy trays and the truggy. So if you don't like that look, you don't have to have it. Just grab yourself a set of buggy battery trays, and you're good to go. I think it looks cleaner. I think it gets a little rid of a little bit of weight. And like I said before, you don't have to have a full size stick pack to run this truck in a 10 minute main. So. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. This has been my initial thoughts and impressions on the T4E. And um, we'll see you in the next one. All right, bye-bye.